So today we've got 10 overrated fragrances and their best alternatives chosen by you guys. So if you're new to the channel, essentially how this works is I'll throw up a post on the community tab, often having you guys choose the topic, you can vote on it. And then once the topic is chosen, I'll make another post having you guys leave your comments or your opinions on that particular topic. In this case, you're supposed to comment an overrated fragrance and an alternative to that one. And you guys seem to like this video because this post got more comments than usual, I believe, and there was a lot more people in there actively voting comments to the top. And there was one trend with one fragrance in particular that was overrated, so we're gonna highlight that one first. Let's jump into it. And that fragrance, of course, is going to be Creed Aventus being the overrated fragrance. So I'm not gonna put a bunch of different alternatives in the video taking up separate spots because a lot of these comments were upvoted. And so traditionally, that's how this would work. <laughs> the upvoted comments from top down would be placed into the video, but I'm gonna consolidate everyone's Aventus overrated action into one point right here so we can get onto some stuff that hasn't been said a million times. So yeah, Aventus, not everyone's gonna wanna pay for it. Not everyone's gonna wanna buy it. Maybe not everyone even likes how it smells, and that's normal. But if you want an alternative, the general consensus that people were voting on was Mont Blanc Explorer and also Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. So yeah, two of those are great alternatives to Creed Aventus. If you don't want to spend the money, but you want something that smells similar, uh, those two fragrances will definitely get it done for you at a fraction of the price. So the next overrated fragrance we have is Sauvage Eau de Toilette by Dior. So if you don't want to pay the money for this, if you don't want to be wearing Sauvage, but maybe you want something that smells kind of similar to Sauvage, um, this one here, Prada Carbon, is a great option for you. So that one was voted up pretty high, and I agree for sure. Uh, Carbon is a really nice take on Sauvage, but rounding off the edges and making it overall a bit more smooth and a bit more approachable. So if Sauvage is too spicy, too peppery, too in your face, too metallic, check out Prada Carbon. And again, that price point makes a huge difference here. So this next one, we have Creed Silver Mountain Water. So another Creed in the video, and similar thing going here, the price point on this one is not very friendly. It's, it's not cheap. And again, not everyone's gonna wanna pay the money for this. Not everyone is gonna wanna wear this on uh, a regular basis if you do decide to buy it because you don't wanna use it up. So if you're in that situation, you can get Armoff Club de Nuit Siage. And obviously, I agree. I've made quite a few videos on this fragrance here. I think it's absolutely incredible. And I've also said that it's one of the best clones that Armoff has done in my opinion. And I still stick with that. Uh, it, it's like a dead ringer. It's so incredibly close. You're really splitting hairs. There's gonna be some differences in quality uh, somewhat with its delivery here, but all around, it is really, really well done. And so if you wanna pay a fraction of the price and get something that smells quite similar to uh, Silver Mountain Water, you can check this one out. And another thing to go along with this, this fragrance DNA is not for everyone. Some may say that it's maybe too uh, inky smelling. Some may say that maybe it's feminine or something along those lines. So this is where it's best to do your due diligence, do some research and see if it's something that you're going to be into. From there, you can decide if you want to check this out. But if you don't want to make a super risky blind buy on the Creed, you can start with this and maybe use this as a way to sample that DNA. And then later on down the road, if you wanna spend money and get the real thing and have a Creed fragrance, then you can go from there knowing that you'll most likely really like it. Next up, we have Light Blue Intense as the overrated fragrance. And the alternative to that would be Light Blue Forever. So there's two ways that this video can go. It can be alternatives where they smell similar, or it can be alternatives where they don't smell similar. And so in this instance right here, we have a fragrance that really doesn't smell similar to uh, the overrated fragrance. Rather, it be uh, just, in their opinion, a better option. And I have to say, I kind of agree with this commenter. Um, whether light blue intense is super overrated, especially in comparison to some of the others in this video, is gonna be personal speculation. It's gonna be up to you to decide. But I do agree with the fact that all around, I think in a lot of areas, this could be a better fragrance. It depends on what you like. It depends on what you're after. Definitely from a, uh, a, a fragrance enthusiast standpoint, 
I think Forever is the much more interesting scent. However, from the average consumer standpoint, I think uh, Light Blue O Intense is probably going to be the better option just because it is a bit more mainstream and it's probably still going to be maybe a better compliment getter. So it depends on which you're after. For me, I, I like that guy. I like that comment. I do really like this fragrance and it's much more interesting for me, but that's up for you to make the decision for yourself. Next up, we have Spice Bomb Extreme as the overrated fragrance. And in turn, an alternative could be Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Uh, so this commenter stated that uh, Spice Bomb Extreme is very expensive and for him just isn't like the best tobacco vanilla fragrance and so instead he recommends Mercedes-Benz Club Black. So uh, that's definitely an alternative, that's a route you can go because both utilize vanilla quite heavily. Um, both are great vanilla fragrances, both are great for the cooler weather, it kind of just depends on what you're after. And one thing I will say to that comment is that uh, nowadays in this market, the bins isn't all that affordable either. It's currently sold out on FragranceNet. They did have it for the best price for a while. So now currently Fragrance X is one of the only places that I'm seeing it pop up at, and that's at around 75. So that's still a little bit far off from Spice Bomb being at about 100, but depending on what situation you're in, and depending on if you're worried about saving so at that point, depending on what type of situation you're in, if you like the smell of Spice Bomb better than the bins, then you may just want to spring the extra bit of money and go for this one. If this was uh, at like a $30 or $40 price point, then I can really see the price argument being very valid. But at this point here, with how this one is, it's kind of going to be make your own choice on that one. Now, if you like the Mercedes-Benz better in terms of smell, then obviously get that one. But it's definitely not an affordable alternative in my mind. So that's something to think about. Next up, we have Invictus Aqua 2016 as the overrated fragrance. And as the alternative, we have Rasasi Havas. And we'll just do that so you don't have to look at my face through the bottle. Like always, I hate that. There you go. Would you look at that? So... As I've said before, uh, at one point, Invictus Aqua 2016 was one of my favorite summertime fragrances uh, just because of the, the playfulness about it, the monstrous performance of it, and just the fact that it was so synthetic that it was like so bad it was almost good. <laughs> I've said that a bunch of times too. And so Havas is going to be, in my opinion, the best alternative. So I agree very much with this commenter. Uh, to go out and pay the prices that this one goes for at this point is just not the move in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that uh, you're stupid if you do that because I did do that, okay? I, I did go out and I spent more money than I probably really was you know, wanting to do on some Invictus Aqua 2016 because for me, it's nostalgia. I could still wear Havas and it does a very similar thing. Uh, it almost does it better because of just how it's composed. But at the end of the day, Invictus Aqua 2016 is still Invictus Aqua 2016. That's how it is. But your best alternative by far is this one right here by Rasasi. Highly recommend it. This fragrance is amazing. And it is also a beast mode performer like Invictus Aqua was. So next up as an overrated fragrance, we have Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And instead, you could go with Armani Code Absolute. So yeah, I see where this commenter was going here with the direction of this one. Um, this, for reference, is not gonna smell like Ultra Male, so this is an alternative uh, based off of, if you don't like Ultra Male, you can go for this. But this is not gonna be like an alternative in terms of smelling similar. They do both have vanilla. They are both sweet, so they're kind of in a similar ballpark. The main difference is being that Ultra Male is like incredibly sweet, way more sweet than this one. It's also going to be a bit more juvenile and, well, let's face it, actually a lot more juvenile and a lot more playful. Uh, this is not for someone who wants to come across as mature and professional. We'll just leave it at that. You guys know me. I love Ultra Male. I think it's a great scent, but I know that it's not for everybody. Okay, so, and I've said that before as well. It, this is something that you really got to be careful with here. <laughs> you got to know that it's incredibly sweet and not mature. And if you're down with that, you're probably going to like it, but that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, Absolute, it's sweet, but it almost does have a little bit more of a maturity about it. And by the way, this commenter also said Armani Code Profumo. So it was instead of Ultra Male, either Code Absolute or Code Profumo. So similar thing here, 
Uh, Profuma will be a bit more playful and Absolu a bit more mature. So it kind of depends on what you're after. Uh, Profumo also has the vanilla, so it, they kind of all are in a similar ballpark here, but um, neither Profumo or Absolute are as sweet and as playful as Ultra Male. So for this next one, the overrated fragrance is Chanel Allure Ohm Sport. Maybe? Can you see it? Focus is going off. And the alternative will be Versace Pour Homme. So I've talked about this a bunch on the channel as well, uh, that Versace Pour Homme not only is like one of the best signature scents, affordable fragrances out there for men, uh, but also is a really, really good alternative to uh, Chanel Allure Homme Sport. So I agree with that. Now to say that this one is overrated is a little bit confusing to me because they smell so similar. If you're saying overrated based off of the pricing, then yeah, I can agree there. This is expensive. You can't get it on discounters. Uh, the Versace is literally like half the price, but again, smell-wise, they are very similar. Versace is a bit more bright, fresh. Uh, the Chanel has a little bit more of a creaminess to it, so it's another thing where it kind of depends on what you're after, or if you're on a budget constraint, go with the Versace for sure. Next up as the overrated scent, we have Lome Ideal Eau de Parfum by Guerlain, and the alternative would be Lome Ideal Eau de Toilette. Yeah, I think the Eau de Toilette is heavily slept on. I think it's a fantastic scent. Picked this one up for a buying guide, but then I realized after I was wearing it and testing it that I really, really enjoyed it a lot, and I wasn't necessarily expecting to be as into it as I thought. Does that make sense? I wasn't expecting to be as into it as I am, I guess would make more sense. And again, the Eau de Parfum is really hard to find right now. I'm not sure what's going on there. Same with uh, the Extreme. So I don't know. So if you can find the Eau de Toilette, I think go for this one. And for the time being, just don't stress yourself out too much if you can't find the Eau de Parfum. Again, it comes down to, do you want to pay overrated prices on eBay and all this and all that? And I just don't think so. I really don't think it's it's necessary. Now, there are differences between these two for sure. Uh, the EDP has that cherry in here. It's a little bit stronger and heavier overall. Uh, but the Eau de Toilette is still absolutely gorgeous. The leather, the almond, that sort of thing. Uh, great, great alternative for sure. Don't sleep on really either of these, but definitely don't sleep on the EDT. If you can get it, definitely go for it. Last up for this one, as the overrated fragrance, we have Phantom by Paco Rabanne, and the alternative would be Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So I agree. I mean, between the two, Scandal would definitely be my pick. This one has the caramel note in here and uh, that sort of thing going on. It, it just has your, your modern sweet men's fragrance DNA, so kind of the next trend here. It's kind of how this one comes across. I've said this before also, but Scandal's Eau de Toilette, Phantom's Eau de Toilette, we're going to be seeing a bunch of flankers of both of these lines coming up within the next couple of years. And so from there, maybe Phantom will be improved in a flanker and maybe that one will be better than Scandal. You never really know and vice versa as well. So uh, as it sits right now, I think Scandal by far is the better fragrance, but it's also worth noting that neither of these are going to be super mind blowing. So something to keep in mind. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is uh, 10 alternatives to overrated men's fragrances. I think you guys did good on this one. I think there's some great alternatives in here. And what I like about this video here is we have a mix of, you know, affordable alternatives that smell similar to more expensive fragrances like Aventus Silver Mountain Water. But we also have alternatives in terms of scent profile. Like, for example, right here, Armani Code Absolu and Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Both of these are around the same price. So it wasn't a, a cost cutting motivation here. It was just, hey, if you don't like Ultra Male, check out this instead. So I think. Both uh, sides here are incredibly valuable, and I think this video can help a lot of you guys out. So thank you all for participating and putting together a great video. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Again, fragrance is so subjective. Uh, and, you know, all of the ones in here that you guys said are overrated, I love. And did you see me get mad about people saying that, you know, my favorite fragrances are overrated? No, not at all. I really do not care because this is subjective. Now, if I were to get on here and call some of these overrated, some commenters would probably lose their head and rage. So just take that as a lesson. It doesn't matter what other people think about your favorite fragrances. Just have fun and enjoy the hobby and realize that even though you may love this or you may love Spice Bomb Extreme, my baby, some people don't. And some people would rather wear this one. Some people would rather wear this one. And I'm okay with that. 
We're all a family here. Except for the people who leave hate comments. I will provide links to all of these fragrances down below so you can easily grab them on discounters and that sort of thing. So if you want to buy these, that's the easiest way to do it. Direct links to the discounters and to the website so you can pick them up. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.